Greg Yeldon, president of Esterline CMC Electronics. You're fairly new, I understand, to the Part 23 avionics area. Tell us a little bit about your company and what you're doing. Great. Uh, Esterline is, uh, is a company based out of Seattle. It's uh, about a $2 billion aerospace and defense organization. They acquired CMC Electronics in 2007. So if I talk about CMC Electronics, we're a company that was incorporated in 1903. So we've been around a long time. The business is located in uh, Montreal, Canada. We've got a facility in Ottawa and we've got a facility in Sugar Grove just outside of Chicago. We employ about 1,200 people. The business is about 50% commercial aerospace, 50% military aerospace. The business is about 60% of retrofit so avionics applications and cockpit retrofit, and 40% OEM. We have probably about four to 500 engineers, total staff of about 1,200. We have strategically focused the business over the last 15, 20 years on avionics and aerospace. We are a provider of products, ranging from flight management systems, uh, enhanced vision systems, GPS, displays, and we also have a substantial and growing part of the business, which is cockpits and systems integration. So we have been very successful in both OEM and in retrofit on the cockpit side of the business. We have a position with Hawker Beechcraft. And we're supplying an integrated certified cockpit for their T-6B military trainer aircraft, mm -hmm. as well as their attack version, the AT-6. We have a growing and very successful part of the business on retrofitting C-130 aircraft mm -hmm. with, again, a certified cockpit, mm -hmm. six displays going into the C-130 application. So we have been growing and have a very broad expertise in systems integration and integrated cockpits. So what the opportunity came up with a smart deck, it gives us the opportunity to expand that product portfolio that we have to leverage on the integration and systems capabilities that we have and to broaden the market that we can address. So that's where we are, that's who CMC is in a very quick <laughs> nutshell. Abaddon is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy to use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidyne. Let's talk about the Smart Deck product that you're displaying here at AirVenture this week. Sure. We acquired the exclusive license for the Smart Deck integrated cockpit from L3 in October. Since then, we have gone through a very rigorous transition of technology into CMC for that cockpit. We've concluded that now, effectively. It's gone very well. Our engineers have really embraced the technology and they are well on their way to being able to evolve and add the capabilities to the cockpit. So we are in the process of looking out in terms of discussing with OEMs, with individual customers, that's why we're here to get a better understanding of exactly what are their needs, what are they looking for, to help us kind of define where we want to take it. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of opportunity, not only in the class one and class two levels, but class three, class four. We have a, a tremendous amount of experience in retrofit. We've integrated with virtually all types of equipment. We're very open to exploring and looking at various opportunities where we can provide smart deck in a various range of platforms both commercial and in fact military, paramilitary, where we've got a lot of experience as well. So that's what we're, we're doing, we're developing our roadmaps, we're getting a lot of uh, great information here and talking to a lot of OEMs who are very interested in smart tech. What attracted us to it was the strong capabilities in the system, the functionality in the system, the human interface, man-machine interface is superb and the scalability of the system and the ability to add more functionality, et cetera, very, very easily. So we're very excited about it. We expect to do great things with it. Take us through a little bit of the functionality in the Smart Deck system. Well, it's a complete system with the GPS, autopilot, the full function displays, PFD, MFD, 
you know, robust FMS capability in it. And that's an area where CMC has in fact been very successful in terms of our flight management system capabilities. We have fully certified commercial grade flight management systems uh, capabilities with vertical navigation. We're a recognized supplier of GPS. Uh, so all of those capabilities we intend to bring into SmartTech and leverage on the strength of the company. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. As you look down the road and this technology really starts to mature, where do you see not only the industry going but your company going? Right now we see uh, certainly post-2008 and 2009, I mean, I think we see a lot of opportunity in terms of the recovery of not only the general aviation industry but also the business jet market as well for us. So from a, an industrial perspective, I think it's the opportunities are there, a number of new platforms coming out and looking more and more towards not only the integration of the technology, but also the ease of use. That's critical in terms of the amount of data and information that is now being able to be displayed on a glass cockpit. It really is that ease of use that is paramount in terms of uh, situational awareness, which is becoming more and more advanced to be able to provide that capability. So from that perspective, we see a lot of opportunity to leverage what we have in smart tech. So bringing smart tech up in terms of a broader, more capable system. So it's a great starting point for CMC. As I said, we've got a number of products in, uh, in cockpits at the higher end of the market and in the, in the military side. But what we've got here is a very effective, very well designed, very low cost, system that we can offer today, but we can also grow and build upon in the future. So we see a lot of opportunity out there in terms of uh, moving this product forward, adding on to the capabilities, evolving it into not only a great baseline product that it is, but, uh, but future evolutions of it. For how many aircraft is this already certified? This has been certified on the Cirrus SR-22. We have had I said, lots of discussions with OEMs, <laughs> so we're not in a position right now to make the announcements, but I think it's progressing, frankly, it's progressing faster than I would have thought. I think we're really pleased, not only from the engineering standpoint in terms of how quickly we've been able to integrate this into the business, but the response from everyone we've talked to, they're thrilled to see it back on the market, are anxious to hear how we're going to evolve it, and that's what we're working on. And I think they see a lot of opportunity for it. The smart deck was very, very well engineered and it addressed a lot of what the market wanted. Uh, so now it's up to us to take it to the next level and we're going to do that. Greg Yeldon from CMC Electronics, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. Thank you very much. <laughs>